Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Good Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, as part of our Warsaw week, we're here in uh, we're here at uh, Fabrica Norblina, which is uh, one of the uh, top locations we um, to to go out ha dining, a little bit of dining. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants here that are casual dining, uh, fast food, lots of little shops, museums. There's a great movie theater which you can order drinks and food and have it and and uh and really have an interesting night out we decided to do the uh the food halls we're going to do the top three food halls that came back in our retailer survey so we sent out a retailer survey and said you know which ones we you know had them rate all the food halls and kind of get an idea so we're gonna really starting friday because we thought friday is a good place to start with uh fabrica norblina which is a it's a great place to come out to on a friday uh friday evening or any evening um, lots of there's the uh, um, piano piano bar lots of interesting things here as you can see lots of uh, different kinds of casual dining restaurants and um, things to go to and uh, they were one of the one of the top three ranked uh, food halls in Warsaw it's Warsaw is becoming one of the food hall capitals of Europe I would say and uh, here let's move into the shade a little bit and uh, they even got a little stage here for some live music we'll use their stage for just a second and uh, you know it says make make music not war so um a lot of things happening Monday and Tuesday. We'll also be covering the uh, the, the other two top. We got three top food halls in the uh, the city, so a lot of interesting things to cover. Definitely worth visiting them all. Um, and then also on the third day, we'll let you know which ones are top one, two, and three. But uh, this first one we just decided to start at. Um, a lot of interesting things to see to see Apple Museum and just you know worth walking around for sure. And in the evening, lots of fun things. So. Now we'll uh, do a little, uh, we've, we'll, we'll shoot over to our, uh, uh, this week, our MAPIC, again, retail, our MAPIC uh, sponsor for the week, uh, which is MAPIC is a big retail fair in can, always great to go to for retailers. Love that. Right now we'll shoot over to Winston Norman uh, to do the news here to wrap us up on a Friday, uh, Friday morning. And uh, we'll see you all on Monday. Uh, I think I'll let Winston do this one on his own. And then we'll see you all back in the studio Monday, Tuesday, and you'll see the other two, uh, uh, food halls that were were picked by the retailers to go to. Maybe we'll do a, um, a you know a consumer one, a little bit bigger uh, retail, or a little bit bigger package. But I think the retailers they know where they're making the most money and where they're having the most fun. So anyway, we'll shoot over to Winston right now and have a good weekend, and we'll see you Monday morning. We are so excited to be here today at Mapic Italy. Good mood, great vibes from all participants and lots of new business opportunities generated by the current industry transformation. We are Thales working to prepare a new great edition of MAPIC in November in Cannes with an amazing new MAPIC Awards competition. This year's awards will be totally renewed and will incorporate new categories, taking it up to 12 in total. The competition will aim to reward um, achievement, best performances, and groundbreaking project initiatives from all over the world. And this year, we'll have a special focus on special categories on sustainability. That's our main focus for 2022. We are looking at the way our retailers and property players are working towards a more sustainable future, including initiatives in cutting carbon emissions, upcycling, recycling, and more sustainable, uh, responsible consuming and manufacturing. Uh, in addition, we will add new KPIs to judge the performance of uh, uh, retail and leisure destinations, such as analyzing uh, the physical site performance for shopping mall, outlet center, retail park, as well as the new um, initiatives uh, in technology to provide clients a real seamless omnichannel experience. This is a really great opportunity to engage or recognize the most progressive project and initiatives, and we really hope you all will be involved in this MAPIC Awards edition. Good Friday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. And here are the highlights from the EuropaProperty.com website for today. And today we'll start with uh, Deutsche Pfarm Beef Bank, who have provided an investment facility totaling 120 million euros to refinance a logistic portfolio across Poland for EQ2 Exeter. This is the second deal that PPB has closed with the Exeter team. 
Uh, the portfolio comprises of four properties providing around 200,000 square meters of logistics and warehouse space in established logistics locations. Uh, the portfolio is led to a mix of good tenants, including BBK, Fresh Logistics, The Hut Group, and FedEx. And according to Charles Bach, head of real estate finance, international clients at PBB, Deutsche P. Farm Beef Bank, the deal underlines our continued strong interest in the key European logistics and warehouse markets, including Poland. Uh, staying in the logistics sector and in the investment market and 7R in a joint venture partnership with MFC Real Estate and DIL Polska has finalized the sale of 7R CityFlex Warsaw Airport to Makiri Asset Management. The facility includes three buildings comprising of around 16,000 square meters and they are fully leased. Uh, the value of the transaction is around 29 million euros. And according to Florian Winkle, co-head of Mercury Asset Management, the Polish logistics sector has demonstrated consistent growth in recent years as the demand of e-commerce continues to accelerate. With its strategic location and technically advanced facilities, this investment provides an exciting opportunity to capitalize on the strong demand for logistics in the region whilst deepening our partnership with us with 7R. Staying in Poland and in the investment market, and uh, Future Rural Investment Partners will begin the renovation of the Ratislavia Tower Office building in the center of Wrocław. And according to Karol Pliniewicz, CEO of Future Rural, Wrocław Slavia Tower provides us with another fantastic value-add opportunity. We are planning to redevelop the building into a modern, high-quality retail, entertainment and office building with a focus on IT tenants. We believe that this strategy result in a smaller carbon footprint compared to the development of new buildings. And finally for today, moving to Romania, and uh, Hagag Development has received a building permit, permit for the renovation works on the Stribi Palace in Bucharest. The company has initiated the tender process for the selection of the general contractor and is making all the necessary arrangements to soon start construction works on its first project dedicated to the retail market. Uh, the palace will be fully refurbished and consolidated and its original proportions and height regime preserved, while the facades and the external and internal elements will be restored to their original appearance. And according to Yitzhak Hagag, co-founder, Stribi uh, Palace is one of the most impressive buildings in Bucharest. Its architecture, the neoclassical decorative elements and its proportions were impressive back in 1835 when it was originally built and they are just as spectacular now. Uh, even today the property finds itself in an advanced state of degradation which will soon be renovated. And those are the highlights for the, from the new site today. Have a great weekend and join me again on Monday. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.